Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we are here in Orange, California and we're on the hunt for some really good Mexican food. And you can see we actually found a great looking spot. This is Moreno's here on Chapman Avenue. The restaurant itself has been here for over 50 years, but the building itself is well over 100 years. It was built in 1886 as a meeting space for Quakers. It was then turned in 1967 and purchased by the Moreno family and turned into this great looking Mexican restaurant. And the original church building and building are actually still here. So we invite you to join us on this episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles. So I ordered the Cadillac Margarita, which they said was their house specialty. As you can see, we got a little shot here of some tequila. Let's pour that in there. Ooh. Give this a taste. Oh, that is really tasty. Really, really, really tasty. The salt on the rim, the tequila, the whole drink is fantastic. Uh, Marina's definitely gonna like this one. And I do have to say, it is after lunch, so uh, a little bit after 12, so it's okay to have this, I think, right? It's 5 o'clock somewhere. Ooh, wow. <laughs> Heavy glass. Uh, mm, let's give it a taste. Oh, that's good. It's a nice hot day. We're sitting under the shade outside. I couldn't ask for a better way to enjoy a margarita. Excuse me, I need to uh, have another sip. So along with our margaritas and our chips and salsa, we decided to get an appetizer and we went with the shrimp platter, which sells for $23.50. It comes with large wild caught shrimp in a special butter sauce, served on a bed of lettuce, sliced avocados, fresh tomatoes, jalapenos, and lemon slices, and you can get it with corn or flour tortillas. So I'm gonna try my uh, appetizer here. Got my corn tortilla, got a shrimp. I'm gonna dip it in this beautiful sauce. But here, I'm gonna put two in there. And everybody knows here, I'm the plain guy. So I'm just gonna actually have maybe some shrimp, and I'll probably put a little lettuce in there as well. I want some jalapenos in there too, but I'm gonna avoid those. Fold that up. You gotta fold the end. If you don't fold the end, all the juices run in your hand or in your pants. So let's give this a shot. That is very tasty. Tortilla is fantastic. Obviously, they make them here. I don't think they actually buy them. I'm guessing, I don't know, but it's really good. It's very tender. Shrimp is cooked perfectly. 
got a nice seasoning on it, uh, sauce. Um, probably could have added more sauce to it than what I did, but it's very, it's exactly what I expected. It's actually really good. Let's see what Marina thinks. All right, it's my turn. Looks delicious. Wow. I'm really hungry. So we're gonna build this right with everything that's in here. So we got some shrimp, got some tomato, got some shrimp in here. We're gonna make this a little spicy with a jalapeno. And of course, it comes with the avocado slices, so you have to do that. And uh, yeah, this is, this is looking delicious. <coughs> Let's stir up this butter sauce here. Ooh. Wow. Look at this. Don't forget to fold the bottom. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Take it from a green girl. Fold I'm the bottom. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Wow. This is incredibly flavorful. The shrimp is cooked on a grill. You can taste the charcoal and the char on the shrimp. The shrimp has a nice bite to it. It's not a soft shrimp. It's not um, a soggy shrimp. It has just the right cook on it, I will say that. The tomato, the avocado, I didn't add any lettuce to it. Um, I might sprinkle in a little bit, just for a little bit of a, a crunch a little bit of a texture to it but this sauce oh, really really nice a little bit of a spice to it but not not a kick um, it's just a very nice compliment to all of it put together and um, I have to say the corn tortilla you have to do a corn tortilla um, corn masa has been around for a gazillion years and uh, you just have to do it right. Yeah. The flour <laughs> tortilla was about 2,000 years late to the party yes. after corn has been used. So Correct. So you go you with got, corn if you, you have a do chance. The corn. Unless you're doing a burrito. <laughs> then, of course, you got to go with the, uh, the flour. But mm. come on, or a quesadilla. Mm, so good. With each of the plates that we ordered, it comes with a soup or a salad. And I ordered the soup and I opted for the albondigas, which is a meatball soup. It looks really good. Um, I'm glad it's a small serving because we have a lot of food to eat and uh, can't wait to dig in. Let's see what it tastes like. All right, let's taste this broth now. Meatball soup, albondigas. Hopefully it's good. Seasoned really well. No need for salt, no need for pepper. Everything that's included in the broth, which is the meatballs, the uh, carrot, onion, it's all in here. It's kind of a, a mirepoix, which is carrot, celery, and onion, along with a very large meatball, which I am about to dig into. Right. The albondigas meatball should be super super soft when you put it on your tongue it should basically just melt away and this one it did just that really really well seasoned also with that broth very very good so if you're looking for a good albondigas meatball soup this is the place to come get away from that oh you just took some rice <laughs> i don't think i got you this little bird just came over and stole some of Marina's Spanish rice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the penalty is congratulations. Congratulations. We share at this table. Of course. <laughs> Here is my chicken tortilla soup. It looks fantastic. You can see some crunchy tortilla chips on top. I can even see the chicken trying to escape the bowl. That makes me think there's a lot more chicken inside. We'll see. All right, so I opted for the chicken tortilla soup, which looks fantastic as you can see. I can see on the top I actually have some corn, some tomatoes, some chicken. It looks like a really good bite. It looks like there's even some cheese on there. That's really good. The uh, chip is a little bit soggy. Part of it is because it was in the sauce. 
and the soup. And the rest of it was nice and crunchy. But the chicken is really, really tender and not at all dry, which sometimes happens. Even though they don't cook, sometimes cook the chicken in the soup. Let's try another bite. So that soup is really, really delicious. Uh, the broth is really good. The chicken's nice and tender. The tortilla adds a nice texture change. There's nice chunks of tomatoes. There's corn. There's onion. There's even some cheese in here. And it's fantastic. Definitely highly recommend it. Alright, so I opted to get the chili verde, which is pork in a seasoned sauce. The smell from this is divine. Um, if it tastes anything like it smells like, I'm in for it, quite a treat. So it does come with tortillas, uh, so you can kind of make yourself like a, a soft taco. Um, also comes with beans and rice. I am going to do that a little bit later. It's all about the pork right now, so let's dig in and see what it tastes like. I watched your fork go right into it without <laughs> any hesitation whatsoever. It sunk right in. Good sign. All right, here we go. That pork, super, super. I, I want to say it's like smooth. <laughs> it has a little bit of a texture, but it is so soft, so delicious. The sauce that it's seasoned in, just the right amount of seasoning. It's not over salted, it's not under salted, it's not spicy. It's fantastic. Um, I can't wait to make this into a soft taco and uh, really have at it because this stuff is really amazing. Um, take a, a second bite just to make sure, right? Just to make sure that I didn't get a, a piece that was cooked extra special. Let's take a bite. Consistent. Consistent all the way through. Now, let's take a try of these beans here because, uh, yeah. Beans are important at a Mexican restaurant, and if they don't do good beans, I kind of question everything else that they make, because these are kind of simple to make. These are really good. Um, they're not completely like smashed beans to where it's super smooth. You do have a couple of beans in there that are, they're smooth, but they're whole and they're very soft. So you get a little bit of a texture of a smooth bean and then a whole bean in there. Very, very tasty. Um, this thing is gonna knock it out of the park once I put it in a corn tortilla. So uh, I'm ready to dig in and uh, Chris, you need to put that camera away because uh, it's not gonna be pretty what I'm gonna do to this plate. <laughs> you got it because I'm ready to dig into mine. <laughs> But what I opted for for my main course is going to be the Moreno's Creation. This is actually a chorizo and cheese enchilada. It comes with rice and Spanish beans, topped with cheese and that beautiful enchilada sauce. It looks delicious and I can't wait to try it. Oh, you can see the chorizo just coming out the ends. It looks fantastic. Here we go. This has a little bit of everything on it. This is really interesting. The taste is fantastic, but the enchilada sauce actually has this very slight bit of sweetness to it, which is the second time we've encountered that in the last few days. But the chorizo is nice. Um, it tastes great. It's seasoned well. The cheese, the enchilada sauce, the tortilla is really, really good. I can already tell I'm going to love this plate, but what I haven't done yet is check the beans. And I'll tell you, if I've learned anything over the years of my life, is that a Mexican restaurant is only as good as its beans are going to be. And I can tell you right now, the fact that this enchilada tastes great makes me think that these beans are going to be fantastic. So let's give them a shot. I'm going to use a chip to pick them up. Super flavorful. I, I, I already knew they were going to be good. But so many times I've gone to Mexican restaurants where the beans are very bland. These are very tasty, properly seasoned, have a little bit of melted cheese on them. This is a great dish. And I'm assuming because it bears the family name, it's one of the things that's supposed to stand out and absolutely does that.
All right, so we just finished our meal. We didn't really finish it. We're gonna get some to-go boxes. It's a lot of food. And they have a lot of great looking desserts here, but I think we're not gonna order anything here for the table. But in the parking lot, the same restaurant also has an on-site bakery. So I think we're gonna walk over there and take a look at what they have there because if the desserts are as good as the meals, we're in for a real treat. But there's no way in the world that we I could put another forkful of food in my mouth right now. So it'll have to wait till we get home or later on tonight. But I'm still gonna buy something. If you're looking to come here on the weekend, on Sunday they do offer actually a Sunday afternoon brunch. It runs from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Comes with a whole variety of choices of food. It even comes with a complimentary glass of champagne. So that might be something we might have to do in the future. And if we do, we'll bring it to you in another video on the Walker Chronicles. So yeah, if it's anything like today's uh, lunch, I think we're in for a treat. So in case you're looking for some holiday tamales, I know it's just July, but uh, if you're looking for something later on in the year, you might want to give them a try. I know uh, we have a couple places locally that we like to try, but I don't know. I think this year we might go out of the box and maybe come down here and order some. It would be worth a try, definitely. All right, so we just finished up at Moreno's and mm -hmm. wow, those... Uh, those margaritas, let me just start there. Those margaritas are really, really strong. Mm -hmm. They don't taste like it. They use really good tequila. Mm -hmm. um, it sneaks up on you, but when it it shows up, it shows up. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. It did, it did hit you pretty good. Effects are gone now, of course, since it's been a couple of hours. Yeah. But uh, no, it was really good. The drinks were good. The chips and salsa was good. The meal was fantastic. Yeah. The wait staff was great. I yeah. mean, I, I left here thinking, when can we come back? I also left here very, very full. I am so <laughs> stuffed and so tired right now. Food I really, coma. Food I really coma. need a good nap now. But uh, no, this is our first time at this place. We hadn't been here before, but I can't highly recommend it enough. I really want to come back at night when it's uh, dark outside, when they have the patio area lit up. It looks like it'll be absolutely beautiful. It'll be a great environment to enjoy a good meal and a drink. I'm looking forward to maybe coming back for their brunch. Um, yeah. We don't know what it's going to look like, or we couldn't really find out what the cost was. We could right. find out what the uh, children's version of the brunch looked like, but either way, uh, mm -hmm. I really want to come and see what the brunch looks like and uh, what it tastes like. And I don't know, it's just a really good environment. And like Chris said, the staff is really, really helpful, mm -hmm. really, really friendly, and they're funny. They were cracking jokes throughout the day. They were. Everything had tequila in it, according to one of the <laughs> one of the waiters. But no, this is a great place. We highly recommend coming to uh, Moreno's in Orange, California. Yep. And uh, until the next time, we will see you on the next episode of The, the Walker, Walker Chronicles. Chronicles.